Okay, hello, hi. This is uh, here an uh, explanation of what uh, GIF uh, SQL TK can uh, do for us. Okay, uh, GIF SQL TK is an is a front end to a command line application called GIF SQL. GIF SQL can uh, edit uh, the uh, animations and like uh, create you uh, animations from GIF uh, files. Okay, and uh, make you a new file uh, in the GIF format which is an animation okay and uh, also it can explode an animation to its uh, component frames okay so every frame will be a separate uh, independent GIF uh, uh, file okay GIF image file so um, but uh, this front, this is a front end made into CLTK. So you must have had installed to CLTK either from your uh, repositories, okay? Uh, like uh, here in my Debian operating system, you use the apt uh, commands, uh, apt get commands, or using the GUI uh, synaptic, or you can simply go to activestate.com and install uh, active uh, TCL, okay? And I use active TCL. Okay, uh, but anyway, it will work. So uh, with the, the one that comes from Debian, I mean, and from uh, Active TCL. So um, simply the app is uh, as such. So you have to put the uh, delay between each frame. If you want to start with building an animation, so you put the delay between each frame. Okay. Uh, and the loop count also. So you want to say, for example, I want to uh, have three images, like or four images, like this. I add the animations, okay. And uh, please make sure that uh, GIF is uh, SQL is installed first of all, uh, and it's in the uh, path of uh, the uh, operating system in the dollar path environment variable, okay. So you can uh, access it uh, without uh, editing the script, okay. And uh, then uh, I put, for example, delay like between a second or something. Okay, and the loop count here is how many times you want to read those four, like uh, from like say uh, one, two, three, four. This is one loop. Okay, another time one, two, three, four, second loop. So how many uh, loops you wanna uh, do? So just to make it infinite if you want to make it infinite use just a very 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 big number i'm gonna just make five just to show you that it uh, should work and i'm gonna increase this like for example 100 oh no let me make it like uh, two or five anyway okay um and then i uh, press build animation i select the file okay i'm overwriting this file doesn't matter so i can just simply go to this file and here yeah because see again because the stepping is very fast okay so let's say for example I increase the stepping like 50 or like say uh, 10 Let's say make it 20 so it can look clearer. I can build the animation uh, again, but I don't have to put uh, to use the add images as animation frames because they are already there. So I can just uh, simply build animation. It will read those that are inside the list here. And if you want to delete, you can pre any one of those uh, uh, elements of the list. Okay, you can just uh, click the delete or press the delete button. Okay. Here I overwrote the file. So, so here again, see. So it stops because I said five times repeat uh, reading the four uh, images. Okay, the sequence of the four images. Make it five times. Okay, see if I do it again. One, this is one, two, three, four, five. And if I want, I can uh, split the edge here, the output of the animation into 
uh, its uh, original frames okay so for example those are the original frames pick one pick two pick three pick four okay I can uh, uh, like split edge into GIF uh, zero okay which are the same as pick one pick two pick three okay see pick one pick two pick three just read the names and you understand so it's just simply done by clicking the uh, explode a GIF animated image and then this is edge okay and you select the folder where uh, your uh, splits or your frames will be saved so I'm gonna save the same folder okay it will override the ones that are there and that's it you will get them here okay so let's imagine again just for clarity I did uh, I don't have them and I can repeat the process selecting edge and then okay okay and you say you can see that they are recreated okay so this is all about the uh, application and also I want to uh, add that uh, you can also preview by clicking or moving the uh, cursor using the keyboard arrows okay to preview the images as you see now uh, this can let you preview the GIF files and uh, PPM files and uh, there's another folder P P PPG I don't know okay uh, so anyway uh, but all you need is just GIF okay because this is what uh, GIF SQL can do but I'm just telling you that you can still add uh, and preview the other files okay and the selection here of the images okay here is uh, multiple selection so I can click here and uh, press shift and it will click all and add those uh, the sequence cool so let's say I press delete okay, I forgot about this not a big deal and then I deleted them all and uh, I can just simply say like this and like this uh, voila it's done okay so that's all about uh, the app okay. if you saw uh, like a little bug it's not a big problem the app will still work okay there's no crashes about this okay and thanks for watching